sunrise, and we are born. A womb throws us out, but that's fine. That's quite all right, because a mother's voice, now a familiar sound, fills our hearts with warmth and safety. And then her joyous smile, though slightly out of focus, blesses us with love and the precious gift of humanity. Wait, what's that? Another sound? Oh, just that deep rumble we've come to know so well over the last nine months. Another face, another smile. Father's eyes look down. His gaze straightens our spine and gives it strength. We are. We know. We be. We be. We be. We be. So much more to this place than any of us imagined. In twos and threes and fours, etc. Shapes and colors, tastes, sounds, emotional episodes introduce themselves to us, one after the other after the other. Hi, I'm red and round and maybe eaten. Good morning, I'm grey and sharp, and I'll make you bleed if you don't watch out. Hello there, I'm cool and wet. And very tasty. And me, I'm just the dose of all-round happiness. We watch, and so we learn. Noon. Well, here we are. Our pockets filled with an endless supply of curiosity. Time then to step out. World beyond our bedroom, bathroom, and the breakfast table. Time to discover. It is time to learn. What is that? Why is this? How did they? Where shall we? Who am I? We ask an infinite stream of questions, and in reply, we are shown either an open door that leads to many other open doors, or we are led to an insurmountable wall. Constructed from the purest dogma, with a vicious coil of barbed wire fear running all the way along the top, we stop and choose: shall we risk open, or will we play it safe with dogma? Afternoon already, and we're in charge already. Complete with the power to believe we really can make our own decisions. We can choose to go left or right or up or down. We decide who comes in and who shall remain forever outside. We can choose for love or pain, or laughter or hate or greed or compassion, or an open mind. We can choose anything we like because we have reached the age of "it's up to me." So we pause for a moment in all our doings, and then decide what shapes, colors, and memories to leave behind as reminders that we were here.
evening, the sun descends in a blaze of red and gold and purple, shimmering and glorious. With it comes wisdom, and suddenly we become the go-to person with all the answers. At least that's what our question-carrying visitors believe. In the meantime, we do our best to answer the endless screams of should we, can we, would you, shall I, with honesty and perhaps other questions. We all have our roles in this business called living. What a day it's been. We've seen, we've touched, we've cried and loved and fought and lost. We've come and gone. We are now a thousand times more significant than we were this morning. Something within us has grown. And yet, in the great, great scheme of things, we've barely moved and hardly done and still know so very little. Out there is an infinity of plans we're yet to make and a mountain of things we are yet to learn. <sighs> but we've had our moment. It's time to move on and make room for others. From somewhere not so far away, the womb of Mother Earth sings out, come back my child, your bed is made. It's time to sleep. She's right, you know. We're tired, we're done for now. Rest is what we need. The sun rises once again and here we are. The womb says go out and play. That's fine with us. A mother's voice, we know it well, pumps warmth and courage into our beating hearts. Her smile is slightly out of focus, yet clear enough to give us love and bring us joy. And then that other voice, that face, we know it too. A father chuckles like a gently rumbling thunder. And then our parents' oh-so-proud eyes look down and lift us high. The day is yours, they say. Go out, go forth, become. And so it goes in the endless cycle of change after change. Everything remains the same. 